previously on the yu gi -Oh. It's over, Dots. Nothing you can do or say will stop us from defeating you. You ain't got no friends. Oh no, now I'm sad. This is a very emotional scene, so please don't look directly at my naked butt, no matter how distracting or sexy it might be. I summon a monster with infinity attack points. Yeah, well, I summon a monster with infinity plus one attack points. Oh, ho, ho, then I summon a monster with an infinity plus two attack points. Hey, no fair. I'm gonna tell Mom you're Cheating? Nuh-uh. Yaha. Nuh-uh. Yaha. Nuh-uh. Oh! <laughs> Sucking me out through my butt? Yugi's back! But way more importantly, we all saw the Pharaoh's butt! Pharaoh, I'm so happy to be reunited with you and that we finally get this big emotional payoff to our separation. Yeah, that... totally. Hey, Yugi, can you go back inside the puzzle so I can play a card game with a giant monster? Oh. Okay, but after that, we'll have the big emotional payoff, right? Eh. This time. Under you gay, old man. Darts must be waiting for us on that island. We have to get up there and duel him. I don't understand, Yug. Didn't you just beat that guy? Yeah, but Darts has been preparing for this moment for 10,000 years. We didn't defeat him. We just unlocked his second health bar. We'd better go back inside Darts' hideout and figure out how to get up onto that island. Mr. Kaiba, we have a helicopter. We can take you all up there right now if Kaiba's you- right. Atlantis must be connected to this place via some kind of magical portal. That's the only way we can get up there to challenge Darts. Hello? Helicopter? Right here! If only we had some way to follow you and make sure you could get back safely! I'll just be over here with my invisible helicopter then! Yugi! Promise me you'll come back. Don't worry, Taya. I'll make it back, okay? After all, I promised you we'd go on that date together. What? I don't remember that. Well, before all this Arakalco stuff started, you said you'd go see a movie with me. Remember? Oh. Um. I think I thought I was talking to the Pharaoh when I, I suggested that. Oh. Well, now this is just really awkward. But I mean, I don't mind watching something on Netflix with you guys when you get back. Yeah, it's just... you're just making it worse. Anyway, I'm gonna go face my nemesis up on that floating island. Hey, Yugi! Make sure you get Knuckles the Echidna's autograph for me. I love him. Kawaii ga! Wheeler, who said you could come? I gotta come, Kaiba! My sister needs the prize money for her eye operation! That is all kinds of not what's happening. Wow, my eBay senses are tingling. There must be some rare cards nearby. The Egyptian God Cards! Kinda weird how the God Cards are totally okay with being held hostage by an evil organization bent on destroying the world, but they'll resort to literal divine intervention because a dude tried to paint them. Have you ever been painted without permission? Well, no. Then don't judge. Hey, look, Kaiba. Aho. Uh -huh. Must be like looking in a mirror for you. I don't get it. You know, cause you're a... An a-hole. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I be a hole? You know, Joey, if you have to explain your joke or it's a reference, then it really isn't funny. Ah, you guys are no fun. Let's just go in there. You know, we really have no idea where this portal will take us, but I have total confidence in this decision. So this is the lost empire of Atlantis. And just like the Disney movie, it looks like this place was also a colossal failure. Hey, do you guys think we should head for that obvious giant glowy beam of light? Yeah, but not because you suggested it. Well, it's been five whole seconds since the Pharaoh was on screen, so I'd better tag out. <laughs> Why was I not on screen for five whole seconds? Whoa, check it out! Dites turned himself into a human popsicle! Hey, Kaiba, I'll give you ten bucks if you put your tongue on that thing. Ten whole dollars? Oh my god, hold me back. Hey, I'll toss in another ten if you want to put your tongue on, Mr. Toe Dots, come down from there at once. I am not playing a card game with the ceiling. Not after what happened last time. Why, what happened, Yook? I sent the ceiling to the Shadow Realm, and ever since then it's been impossible to sleep at night when it rains. Oh, my, since I couldn't claim the Pharaoh's wife force, I've given the Great Leviathan the next best thing. My own soul, dude. <laughs> Guy sure has a high opinion of his soul. Oh, it ain't just me, bro. Oh, no, no. But don't take my word for it. You can just ask the Great Leviathan when he gets here. <laughs> Look at that, man. He showed up. Alpha, come and take. For cheating. 
it's good timing. By the hoary hosts of Horus, he's huge. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's trying to mate with the island. It doesn't look nearly enough like a dragon for me to be into that. Hey, looky here, man. My brand new great Leviathan friend has himself a shiny new hood on a man. Courtesy of yours truly, it's me, Dots. I'm the hood ornament. Darts, you fiend. You did the thing that Merrick did with his Egyptian god card in the last season's climactic duel, except slightly different. Does your evil no-no shamelessly ripped off bounds? I was done with this season like two seasons ago. Let's take this mook out, card game style. And down with that. All right, then let's finish this fight together by summoning the monsters that represent the bonds of our true destiny. The, the three dragon knights of legend. legend. Demi Hermos and Critias. Okay, guys, take him out. You heard the man, Wavia fan. Take him out. Wait, what? Oh, that's Joey we are. Did you really think that the much hot Dragon Knights destined to defeat me would actually defeat me? I mean, kinda. Otherwise, why are we even here? You know, technically, I never said it was time to duel, so we should really get a do-over on that turn. The only turn you're going to be taking is for my Wavaya fan, because the great Wavaya fan about to get hurt. Oh, when it absorbs your life force. <laughs> but I don't want to be a symbiote. <laughs> yeah. Joey noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've all seen enough hentai to know where this is going. The joke's on you, darts, because I haven't seen any hentai. Kaiba, I know we're all about to die, but I feel especially bad for you right now. Like, wow. Like, wow. Don't fight it, boys. Let the despair swallow you and become one with the great Leviathan. He's right. I can feel all my sadness, my regret. Stronger than it's ever been. Yeah, all the times I could have told my sister I loved her. All the times I let my friends down. All the times I had to listen to Joey Wheeler talking. All the times Kaiba got on my knives. All the times Joey expected me to respond to another stupid thing he said. All the times Kaiba sucked. Enough, don't you see? This is what Darts wants. He wants us to consume ourselves with our negativity, our hate. If we want to escape, we must do the opposite. You're gonna have to E-L-I-J that one, Yugi. E-L-I-J? Explain it like I'm Joey. Hey! What you means is we gotta be positive. We gotta open up our hearts and fight against our despair with happiness. So come on, Kaiba. Show us some love, man. Okay, uh, I really, really like Yugi and Joey. That's it, Kaiba. You're doing it. Feeding them in card games and making them look weak is just the best. Oh my god, it's not working at all! Kaiba, no! Okay, Joey, it's up to us. We have to think positive. Remember all those times we won card games through skill and strategy and knew exactly what we were doing the whole time? It's not working, you! Oh, God, why did I use Swordsman of Star so much? They're gone. It's all up to me now. I... I don't know if I can do this. I'm the Pharaoh. I'm not supposed to be the one feeling love. I'm the one who's supposed to feel loved by other people. And we do, Pharaoh. Yugi. Believe me, you don't make it easy. But we love you. You're our friend. You're my partner. There must be something that you unironically love about us in return. I... I love... The way Joey fights for the people he loves. I love Taya's stupid friendship speeches. I love Tristan's ability to break people's necks with his mind. But most of all... I love you, Yugi! The thickety f man! In the name of the Pharaoh, and those I care about, I summon a force beyond compare! <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me he summoned the- Oh, damn it to hell! The Egyptian got cowards! Bobolice, the Tormentor! Cypher, the Executor Producer! And the Mega Opera Chicken! Perhaps it's time for good old dogs to ski devil. You're not going anywhere, Dance. Okay, how the f*** did he do that? I guess there's a jetpack inside of the Millennium Puzzle, too. Dots. 
You besmirched my good name. You took my god cards. You separated me from my partner. And you made me use public transportation. But the line must be drawn here. This far, no further. I won't allow you to wipe out the human race. Why do you even care, man? None of this matters to you. You're already dead. Blah, blah, blah. I'm I one more, Shindai Ru. Funny thing about that, Dots. You see, for the first time in a long while, I feel very much alive. But you're about to be the opposite. Go, my Egyptian god cards. Engage the great Leviathan in the coolest beam battle anime has ever seen. Why do you suppose is happening up there? I don't know, probably the coolest beam battle that anime has ever seen. Glad we came all the way up here so that we could not know what was going on. Oh, victory eludes you, fellow woe! Even combined, your god calls are no match for the great Leviathan in this most epic of dudes! Are you saying do or duel? What? It's kind of hard to make out. Are you saying duel or duel? I mean, I mean, it's, it's do. Uh, I mean, it's dude, you know, like, it's, I don't know, man, it's very distracting thing to ask somebody in the middle of a, wait, 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 no, 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 come on, man, not the great Revaya fan, I want to check out the ears on this plan, man, it was tight, it was so tight, why don't you go and loosen my tight ass plan, man, we had motorcycles, and we do it before it's cool, well, it was never really cool, but still, nonetheless, we did it before everyone else did, ah, oh, go, Dave, we, Go damn it, second wolf day of my wife. Well, actually the worst day was when my wife became a furry. The Leviathan, it's gone. And everyone's souls is going back to where they belong. Does this mean I could take back all the nice things I said? Kaiba, you said like one nice thing and I'm taking it back. Uh-oh, the island feels unstable. Yeah, it's probably cause Kaiba's ego is too heavy. Less old jokes, more running. Come on guys, we're almost through this filler rock. We just gotta jump through that plot hole and we'll be fine. Last one through's a loser. Ugh. Wait, Yugi. Pharaoh, what is it? If we go through that portal, we will be a loser. Oh, no, Pharaoh, it's just a figure of speech. And speaking of speeches, man. It looks like you speak too soon, you little bitch. It's Darts. Somehow he survived certain destruction. Um, again. My soul still resides in the Warfire fan, dude. And so long as humanity's evil exists, so will my great beast. In that case, so long as I reject the idea that humanity is inherently evil, you will be powerless to hurt me. Pharaoh, I don't think that's how this works. Don't worry, Yugi. I've seen this trope before. We're fighting on a conceptual level now, rather than a physical one. If I believe strongly enough that humanity is good, then his attacks should have no effect on me. So bring it on, Darts. Hit me with your best shot. As you wish, man. I don't think any of this is a metaphor! Oh, f it hurts! F f f f f Pharaoh, do something! Summon Dark Magician! Does it f***ing look like I can summon f***ing Dark Magician right now? Wait, I can feel the Leviathan's power weakening! The more I embrace this pain, the more I accept that it is a part of me, the more control I have over it! If I can just concentrate, It'll keep shrinking until it no longer exists! Twinkle. <sighs> Manly fainting noises. Pharaoh, what happened? Is the great Leviathan gone? It forced me to confront the ugliest parts of myself. But fortunately for everyone, even the ugliest parts of me are damn good looking. If only Darts had understood that true evil could never overcome the power of sexy anime characters. My son, it's been a long time. Look, Yugi, it's Ironheart and Chris and Sky the Dog. Easily the breakout character of the season. Right up there with Ghost Napper. Father and my daughter Chris, is that really you? Wait, Chris is his freaking daughter? Yep, that's me. I'm Darts' daughter. But didn't Darts kill you? Yep, he did. 
Kinda seems like it should have been a bigger deal than it was, huh? The last thing I remember is my hot Atlantean wife, Queen Iona, turning into some sort of creature. He recalls nothing of the time he was corrupted by the Oricalcos. That means my son is totally redeemed. Wait, so because he doesn't remember doing it, he's in the clear? Didn't this entire season hinge on the fact that I might be an evil person, but I just didn't remember it? Why does he get a fresh slate? You're welcome to try and explain what happened to him if you like. All right. Darts. 10,000 years ago, a bunch of green rocks fell from the sky that made you try to kill everybody because a giant worm told you to. I'm, I'm sorry, beg your pardon. You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for bringing peace to our family. Except for Darts' wife, who apparently didn't deserve to be reunited with him. Uh, we were on the rocks, actually, so it does make sense. The inconsistent magical portal should now return you safely to your friends. Hey, Yugi, you ready to get the f*** out of this season? You said it, partner. They seemed nice. I wish I could remember our friendship. You actually tried to murder them several times and used the Oricalcos to split them apart. Father, what on earth is a... Oricalcos, you said? Oricalcos. Oricalcos. Ah, ah, ah. Oricalcos. Hey, look! Atlantis has fallen! That's what the in-flight movie is on this helicopter ride. It's Gerard Butler's best performance yet. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm not in the mood to stare at Gerard Butler right now. <laughs> hey, Weevil. Check it out. We're in D-Ward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm alive! I don't remember much of what happened, but that childlike laughter I can hear reminds me of my brother Mikey. Don't worry, Mikey! I'll be coming home real soon! Just as soon as I remember what country I'm from! Uh, he said cunt. Tell me it ain't so! Blimey! Last thing I know I'm hitting on some bird, then I wake up here! Huh? Well, I gotta admit, this ain't the first time I've woken up in a strange girl's bed only to find out she's given me harpies. I hope Valen appreciates my gift, the way I now appreciate the gift my friends have given me. Joey, I'm sorry for how I treated you, and no matter where life takes me, you'll always be in my heart. I only hope that wherever you are right now, you can spare a thought for me. Hey, check it out down there. That big boobed bimbo on the motorcycle just totally flipped over on the beach and got a face full of sand. Why the big boob blonde bimbo bait lady? Wait, look, over there, it's Yugi. He's all right. Pharaoh, we're getting rescued. Isn't that super special? Pharaoh? Oh, I get it. You're trying to come up with a funny one-liner to say about how our friends don't deserve to rescue you. Or that you're grateful you won't be stuck on a beach with me anymore, right? No, Yugi. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm just enjoying being with you. Pharaoh. It's been so long since we started this adventure together, but it feels like it's been even longer since I saw him like this. Like a complete person. He looks so happy to be with me again. Well, from now on, it's him and me. Together. And nothing is ever going to split us apart again. Oracalcos. The Oracalcos. That's a sexy word, it really is.